Hi everyone, I'm Zeiss, and on this channel I turn you into an RPG master. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure to smash the subscribe button and keep in touch. Now there's this article here I noticed today, and you probably saw me posting some stuff from it, but unfortunately I had to go out and couldn't make a video earlier. Well, now here it is. This uh, data, mi data mine changes for Diablo 4 patch 1.5.0.0, whatever, and it includes the, the new uniques, the aspects, and the class tuning. Basically, it's more detailed than uh, in some areas than the patch notes that I recently reviewed. So I'll go go over real quick here uh, as fast as possible over the necromancer stuff and the generic stuff so let's move on here this is directly data mined from the diablo 4 ptr client so it should be mostly accurate and uh, i hope it helps you tune in to the ptr in advance not having to discover much on your own while playing it okay here it goes so the, the I'm gonna mostly focus on the interesting stuff here, the things we already discussed in the patch notes, probably generally gonna skip, mm, let's see, already discussed this, there are some new aspects here though, so let's go over them real quick, now this is a new one, already commented about it, and uh, my opinion about blood mist, uh, so let's uh, drop it. Aspect of Cursed Aura, that's a really good thing, I think. You automatically curse enemies around you with Decrepify and Iron Maiden. Curse is inflicted this way, spread to surrounding targets. Now, this probably means you still need to put points there in order to get the upgrades of those two skills. And this is probably mostly gonna work on close combat necromancer builds. And these are only two, I think, for now, maybe three. So that's Blood Surge, if you build around Blood Surge, and uh, you know, if you build around Sever, and possibly Bone Spirit. Everything else, there's not much anything else, but anyway, the, these are mostly the close combat necro builds. And possibly used to be minions, but now that they changed uh, the. Uh, Hellbent Commander probably does no longer require you to be around your minions so much because that is how it used to increase their damage. Now, uh, let's see this one your minions deal increased damage for each one, uh, but each one drains one essence from you per second. Uh, so, they kind of want to make us uh, gain uh, resource. Uh, while having minions which is kind of weird uh, you have a resource to worry about if you use this the damage increase amplifies to you instead and you lose several essence per second if you don't have the minions right so i don't know where to actually use this i don't think it's much usable but we'll see Casting a golem, we already discussed this on the patch. Uh, what bothers me here is we don't know what unhindered means, because we usually the status effects we get uh, on the necromancer this was uh, not included before, or maybe they changed it from unstoppable or uh, whatever it was the invulnerable. We'll see about that. Uh, Blight attack spark, uh, that's that's good that they finally nerfed this and they finally recognized how very powerful the shadow builds became after they nerfed Ossified Essence. So I was thinking they would rather buff Ossified Essence again and nerf Bone Spirit to kind of equalize things, but uh, they fucked it up instead. Anyway, let's move on here. What else is new? This here, when Bone Spirit explodes in, inside a Bone Prison, which is usually how Bone Spirit is played, it explodes an additional time, 
dealing more damage bone spirit now prioritizes enemies inside the bone prison which is pretty good especially having in mind uh, this uh, new bone spirit unique and you can probably also combine it with the blood artisan armor and it's gonna be pretty rough uh, against the bone spirit necromancer from now on uh, let's see sever now dashes you forward to attack instead well here we go we're gonna have a sever ninja that's pretty good and it's a mobility skill and it costs no essence but also has a cooldown which could probably be greatly reduced if you use the shako or some helmet with the cooldown and especially a focus with uh, cooldown reduction which is usually how sever is played it's played with a focus to manage to get all the necessary aspects let's see uh, Shade Mist aspect, that's pretty good. Your minions deal shadow damage. It's a kind of funny shadow damage, but at least we can finally have a shadow minion build, which is uh, not just the shadow mages. That's pretty good. Okay, moving on. Uh, generic Creeping Dead. You deal increased damage over time to enemies for each different crowd control effect. Uh, they they're affected by unstoppable enemies and staggered bosses take increased damage over time from you instead those are mostly it seems the season 2 vampiric powers they're pretty similar or also the uh, what were they the malignant hearts they're bringing some of those stuff back so it's nothing much new here but it's mostly in the form of the legendary aspects and with those new uniques that we get it's probably gonna be there are probably gonna be some tough decisions here and there okay let's move on here what else aspect of frosty strides um, yeah that's not new aspect of inevitable fate when an enemy falls below 35% life while well affected with any of your damage over time effects an explosion occurs every second, dealing funny damage for each element they are affected by. That's probably then gonna be mostly a sort thing, but we'll see. Aspect of Sly Steps. Um, when you would accumulate 50% of your maximum life loss. Yeah, that's what it says. You automatically cast an equipped defensive, subterfuge or macabre skill before receiving damage can only occur once every too many seconds and cannot cast mobility skills which is okay every five seconds your next core skill costs life instead of primary resource this was a vampiric power and you this is one of the things i actually posted uh, a few hours ago right and that uh, life per second actually finally makes sense especially if you're a barbarian because uh, you actually have a space for this thing to imprint it on but what, what I'm thinking is say if you know one of the necros that I'm currently running it's a bone spear and it will not be using corpse tendrils it's using uh, it will be using this aspect instead probably because it's way way more damage now that uh, grasping veins is uh, nerfed I mean that's what I'm not gonna use and I already have the undying aspect on my chest because of this soul brand bug as if they did it intentionally I don't know maybe probably looks like so combined with this it will be not so bad at all right aspect of the prudent heart after being damaged for at least 20% 20% of your maximum life at once you become immune for um, some seconds right can only occur once every 20 seconds now what i believe is that probably this is going to replace the uh, protecting aspect and why because the protecting aspect doesn't work for dot damage which could be very dangerous especially if the dot dot damage is in very high amounts let's say the slapped off uh, Lilith for example because um, it's a shotgunning dot effect which is uh, could be very dangerous especially after 
uh, the pit let's say over tier 100 though what I remember on one of my pit 100 and something runs I actually saw Lily three times on the boss because I was not playing Barbarian right and the fight was just long okay it didn't die there though so if that's something you want to see make sure to check the videos on my channel on the Diablo 4 dungeons playlist okay let's move on here sticker true aspect sticker true aspect ah sticker top aspect sorry my bad gain thorns while channeling um, that's interesting without much application though maybe only for barbarian whirlwind if you play thorns barbarian i don't know i don't see where else this could be applicable to have a significant effect right ah wild boat aspect every x seconds distant enemies are put into you and take increased damage for seconds okay that might actually help our blood surge guy because uh, as we probably all know blood surge is our favorite skill to roam the open world with we just walk around push a button and now it will be much easier with this and the auto curse uh, aspect right? but we'll see how this goes let's go over some affixes here like the aspect of uh, creeping mist let's see what else uh automatically curse blah blah already talked about this i don't know why they doubled it bone spirit reaper's aspect okay aspect of unholy tether golem blah 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 uh shade mid aspects yeah the, the, the funny damage minion aspect what else aspect of creeping mist okay yeah screw this uh, okay generic aspect of creeping death okay yeah but we already talked about this right i'm definitely gonna test this uh, prudent heart i'm probably not gonna use it together with uh, the protecting aspect because it has like i said other complications like it doesn't work every time especially for dot damage which is yeah you know, kind of stupid <sighs> okay this is for uh, a new amulet we'll get there uh, okay what is this each time i spend primary sun skill again in that mm -hmm. okay paragon notes we already commented on those what's kind of cool uh, is wither is limited now to uh, 1200 intelligence which is uh, some kind of a reminder to maybe the developers want to actually let us know don't stack intelligence like on Diablo 3 because it was a stupid game and uh, there are far more better things to add instead of intelligence because if you focus on intelligence too much where do you get the crit chance, the attack speed, the lucky hit chance, the cooldowns, the life, the stuff like that, which are pretty good. And I believe still uh, on the Necromancer, you don't necessarily need more than eight to nine hundred in of intelligence. You do pretty well with that much. And uh, maybe if you play softcore, you can play some topazes on your gear instead of rubies and then wonder why you die too much right uh, pun intended rare nodes uh, okay let's skip those there's some interesting uh, stuff here <laughs> let's see where it was the okay it's this one i'm definitely gonna try this with um, some armor with two macabre skills to see how it will do what I believe is that because this is a shadow damage uh, thing here, the unique power, is that this will be really good for the Sever builds now. Because Sever is a close combat build and especially having in mind it is uh, shadow damage, 
we might actually have uh, much more viable sever builds around here with this dagger so it is something i will be looking forward to test tonight or if not tonight these days okay let's uh, see what else do we have here i think i uh, minimized most of the useless things before i started recording so uh, okay let's see this was pretty good mm, no not this okay this one so this is probably gonna be many hardcore players uh, favorite glove now mm, my only problem with this is instead of the instead of the attack speed here or crit chance we have some stuff like lucky hit and all stats which are not that useful so i hope they reconsider this all stat to make it attack speed instead just like they reconsidered um, uh, changing one of the affixes of the pendant to be movement speed which now actually finally makes it a usable amulet because amulet without movement speed that's the that's uh, basically no no amulet it's crap unless you're a rogue and uh, are quite agile and mobile anyway right let's see what else do we have here okay that's not interesting here helms uh, okay there was something really good okay there it is this pretty much mimics or is similar to the blood artisan and it's a helmet and I, what I think they wanna make us do is something that they tried to make us do before is to actually play bone spirit with uh, blood uh, taste with some blood aspects right so if we play bone spirit with blood wave please continue the sentence in the comments below because um, that was actually a thing and probably now it's still gonna be a thing so especially with this helmet and probably with the blood artisan it's uh, gonna be terrible especially if you have a lot of attack speed and cooldown reduction so you can uh, spam blood orbs and blood wave and also tons of bone spirits maybe it will be not so bad but we're yet to see my only problem with this that uh, it has to be played with a focus which makes the necromancer very fragile because if you don't play it with a shield it's really dangerous especially on uh, very difficult content where you have to fight monsters which are level 150 and above right okay let's move on here unique helm corpse attack speed looks uh, very promising and probably they they want to make us use this with the Howl from below looks really cool my only problem with this is um, that uh, it will have um, too many uniques might replace the important uh, legendary aspects and we're gonna have to make very tough decisions here we can use either or or both uniques and like they said during the campfire chat they want to make us play with two to four uniques because now it's usually zero to two which kind of makes sense okay this is uh, i've already saw this okay unique sorg yeah not very helpful this thing amulets okay here is the pendant here and they removed the uh, summoning damage and uh, they made it uh, movement speed instead which actually finally makes it a really good amulet which doesn't bound you to use it with minions I, I believe it's one of the best changes ever they actually made uh, item system wise of course okay let's see what else do we have here here are some actually anointments which are probably similar to elixirs i am not sure if we can use them alongside elixirs i just hope we do because that would be really stupid if we can't they seem to be very different category so it might be a thing here's one increases random resistance for every completed wave in the infernal hordes and increases your maximum resistance for all resistances 
every 5 waves, maximum resistances are capped at 85 as usual, but I believe they should be at 95 and also that means for the damage reduction, but uh, they should make it easier to be capped. Right? If you play softcore, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Increase the random core stat by 5, not, not much, for each wave, maybe it will make sense at the last wave, because they can be up to 10. Uh, bonus only applied in the infernal hordes, only one anointment can be active at a time, yeah that's the usual thing. Increase your dot damage by 2 for every completed wave in the infernal hordes. And this second uh, paragraph is pretty much the same. Area item. We have some uh, interesting stuff here. Mm, let's see. Those are probably gonna be something for the uh, Infernal Hordes uh, content. There's the scroll that uh, we used to upgrade compasses, right? Crafting material, this is new. Probably we could use this to create them, right? Burning Hellist can be used to craft uh, to resist the Infernal Homes. Okay, so we can use this to craft actually the anointments, right? Makes sense. Okay, mm, crafting recipe doesn't say actually what they provide horse armors. Journey caches, those are really good. Yeah. Okay, nightmare sigils, compasses. Let's see. HR core, mother's gift. Uh, what else? What else? Upgrades, stuff, greater. Aha, uh -huh. this was actually one of the things I posted uh, on X earlier as well. And uh, that's mostly it, it seems. Mendel here is changed. Um, they drastically nerfed it, which is kind of funny. Or maybe because this is... Uh, it's not equipped. It can probably deal more damage. That's probably the base stat, the base damage here. Okay. Okay, his chance is summoning damage. Alright, there's, I don't think there's much more to add here, I will link to this uh, post, this article anyway, so you can review on your own. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one, I'm probably gonna play the PTR right when it starts, so we have like a few more hours left. Yeah, hope you like this one, let, you know what to, yeah, let me know what you think about it in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you on the next one, size out, take care.